The formal handover of the first fully assembled AW-149 helicopter built in Poland marks far more than a simple delivery milestone, it represents a tangible shift in Poland's approach to defense modernization, industrial autonomy, and long-term strategic readiness. The November 27 transfer to the 25th Air Cavalry Brigade demonstrates that the ambitious 2022 helicopter procurement program is maturing into a domestic production ecosystem capable not only of assembling advanced platforms, but also of sustaining and evolving them over decades of service. For Warsaw, this moment is both practical and symbolic practical because the AW-149 will begin replacing a broad mix of aging Soviet-era and early post-Cold War helicopters, and symbolic because the aircraft rolled out of a Polish factory floor rather than an Italian one. This is a clear indication of the Ministry of National Defense's continuous effort to shift from reliance on foreign suppliers toward a hybrid model of international cooperation and domestic industrial revival. The AW149 acquisition strategy was structured to meet immediate needs first, with the initial 10 helicopters produced in Italy, while gradually transferring more complex assembly, integration, and testing work to PZL Swidnik. Opening the production line in 2024 after intensive personnel training was a critical step, allowing Polish engineers and technicians to take ownership of assembly processes and armament integration. The first Polish-built airframe flew in April 2025, signaling that Swidnik had successfully absorbed the technology, tooling, and quality control standards required for such a platform. This transfer of competence is, strategically, just as important as the helicopters themselves. It ensures that modernization will not be limited to procurement cycles, but embedded within a national industrial base capable of supporting upgrades, maintenance, and potentially export-oriented support for NATO partners in the region. For the armed forces, the AW149 offers a long-awaited solution to a chronic capability gap. Many Polish helicopters, Mi-8s, Mi-17s, Mi-24s, Mi-2s, and older W-3 Sokols, have surpassed 30 years of service, limiting availability, reducing safety margins, and complicating logistics. Poland's earlier effort to modernize the fleet, including the 2015 selection of Airbus H-225M Caracal, collapsed in political disputes, leading to a temporary stopgap purchase of S-70I Blackhawks. The AW149 program, in contrast, is deliberately structured to deliver not only modern aircraft but also industrial independence and long-term sustainment. With deliveries scheduled through 2029, the fleet will gradually integrate a unified mission architecture, eliminating the fragmentation and maintenance complexity associated with Poland's current helicopter inventory. The helicopter itself is well suited for this broad modernization effort. As a medium multi-role platform derived from the successful AW-139, the AW-149 balances payload, speed, survivability, and operational flexibility. Its capacity to carry up to 16 fully equipped troops, its 8,600 kg maximum takeoff weight, and its performance envelope, with cruise speeds approaching 290 km per hour and ranges exceeding 800 km, place it solidly in the category of next-generation utility helicopters. Its modern airframe, composite structures, crash-worthy design, and redundant hydraulic and electrical systems contribute to improved survivability that Poland's older helicopter families simply cannot match. This makes the AW149 suitable not just for routine transport or support missions, but also for high-intensity operations where threat levels, operational tempo, and interoperability requirements far exceed Cold War-era expectations. Where the Polish configuration truly distinguishes itself, however, is in armament and systems integration. By equipping the AW149 with AGM, 114R2 Hellfire 2 missiles and 70mm unguided and guided rockets, Poland restores precision strike capabilities largely lost when the 24 helicopter stocks and missile inventories dwindled. Factory firing trials have confirmed the helicopter's ability to conduct cross-deck engagements, engage off-axis targets, and operate in multiple launcher configurations. 
With 800 Hellfires secured, the AW-149 ceases to be merely a transport or support airframe and becomes a genuine armed multi-role platform capable of shaping ground engagements or providing overwatch for special forces, infantry, or air assault operations. This capability aligns with Poland's broader strategic orientation, a shift toward multi-domain, highly mobile, and precision-enabled forces designed to operate alongside, and contribute meaningfully to, NATO's collective deterrence posture. Mission versatility is another significant advantage. Polish AW-149s are equipped with a comprehensive suite of observation, navigation, and communication systems, including an electro-optical turret, encrypted data links, identification systems, and NVG-compatible cockpit equipment. These features allow the aircraft to operate as a reconnaissance platform, a command and control node, or a special operations enabler. Poland's emphasis on search and rescue and combat search and rescue capabilities also expands the helicopter's peacetime and wartime roles, ensuring that the AW-149 will remain relevant across a broad range of contingencies, from domestic emergencies to NATO expeditionary missions. The ability to add armor protection, external hardpoints, flotation gear, cargo hooks, and internal fuel tanks further enhances its adaptability, giving commanders flexibility to configure each aircraft for mission-specific demands. Beyond the military benefits, the establishment of AW-149 production in Swidnik strengthens Poland's position within the European defense industrial landscape. With PZL Swidnik already assembling AW-101 helicopters and now managing AW-149 integration and sustainment, the company becomes a key node in Leonardo's broader European supply chain. The facility's growth into a regional maintenance and upgrade hub supports not only Polish forces but also offers potential service pathways for other AW-149 operators in Central and Eastern Europe or future NATO customers. This aligns with Poland's strategic objective of establishing itself as a defense industrial pillar within the alliance, capable of providing not just manpower and territory but also advanced manufacturing and long-term logistical support. Internationally, the AW-149's adoption by Egypt, Thailand, Malaysia, and North Macedonia, and its status as the leading candidate in the UK's new medium helicopter program, underscores its credibility and export potential. For Poland, participating in the production chain of a platform that may soon equip major NATO members provides both economic and political leverage. Should the UK select the AW-149, Swidnik could become instrumental in supporting parts of the British fleet, strengthening industrial ties and enabling cross-national modernization programs. Such cooperation would deepen Poland's integration into NATO's industrial ecosystem, supporting shared supply chains and enhancing interoperability. The delivery of the first Polish-built AW149, therefore, is more than a procurement milestone. It is a reflection of Poland's long-term strategic planning, its determination to rebuild domestic defense capabilities, and its understanding that modern warfare demands not only capable platforms but also resilient industrial structures. As more helicopters roll off the Swidnik production line in the coming years, Poland will continue moving away from legacy systems and closer to a modern, interoperable, and highly mobile air force component designed for both national defense and collective security missions. In an era of heightened tensions and evolving battlefield technologies, the AW149 program stands as one of the clearest examples of how Poland aims to balance immediate readiness with long-term sovereignty in its defense sector.